Hello everyone. Let us take some lemon juice in a plastic cap. Now we take a cell and a LED. Now we create a circuit as shown in the picture and the LED will glow. Here the wires are not directly connected. They are connected by the lemon juice which is acidic in nature. So here acid is conducting electricity. If we take alcohol or glucose solution in the cap the LED will not glow. This means they do not conduct electricity. Now if we do the activity with lime water that is calcium hydroxide solution the LED will glow. This means the alkaline solution conducts electricity. Now why and how does an acid or alkaline solution conduct electricity? Well electricity is carried through the solution by ions. As we know in the aqueous solution acids and bases break down into ions. We take around 1 gram NaCl that is common salt in a dry test tube. Now we add some concentrated sulfuric acid to it. This will produce hydrogen chloride gas. Now if we test it with dry litmus it would not make any change in the color. If we hold wet litmus paper in this gas the paper will turn red. Why does the color change only in the case of wet litmus paper? When hydrogen chloride comes in the contact of water it produces hydrogen ion which causes the change of color in the litmus paper. The separation of hydrogen ion from HCl molecules cannot occur in absence of water. HCl plus H2O gives H3O plus plus Cl minus that is hydronium ion and chlorine ion are formed. You know hydrogen ions cannot exist alone. Actually in aqueous solution hydrogen ion exists after combining with water molecules means it forms hydronium ion and this is represented by chemical equation H plus plus H2O gives H3O plus where H3O plus is hydronium ion. You know pH is actually the measurement of hydrogen or hydronium ion concentration and its higher concentration means lower pH which means acidic which turns blue litmus red. Now when a paste dissolves in water it gives a metal ion as cation and hydroxide ion as anion. For example NaOH gives Na plus plus OH minus that is sodium and hydroxide ions are formed but not all bases are soluble in water. Only the bases which are soluble in water are called alkali. So to sum up what we learned today acidic and basic solutions in water conduct electricity because they produce hydrogen and hydroxide ions respectively. For example HCl plus H2O gives H3O plus plus Cl minus that is hydronium and chlorine ions are produced. Also NaOH gives Na plus plus OH minus that is sodium and hydroxide ions are produced. The acidic nature of a substance is due to the formation of hydrogen ions in solution whereas formation of hydroxide ions in solution is responsible for the basic nature of a substance. That's all for now. Bye bye.